Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Just carved Rob and my flower. This is my flower Jordy carved me. Actually, uh, quite a while ago now. I can prove it. See, he signed it. Signed it! There's our flower. Isn't that an awesome flower? Check that out. Carved it on cedar. Yeah. Look at the leaves. That freaking awesome or what? I think it's awesome. I love this flower. This is an awesome flower. Okay, but we're not here to talk about flowers, guys. We are here to talk about paint and monsters. We're painting this little monster guy. So, uh, let's get her started. We got the paint. All kinds of paint. So, let's uh, see what we come up with here for a paint scheme, shall we? I'm thinking uh, green. Yeah. Like that color green. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Now let's get a coat of green on them. Oh yeah, that ought to be nice. That's a real nice color shade of booger green there. Yeah. Get them all painted up here. And we will, after he's painted... He will be modge podged. Semi gloss modge podge. The cool thing about modge podge is it is waterproof and it is a sealer. And it is, uh, it almost reminds me of white glue. So, yeah. But it's supposed to seal the wood, it's supposed to waterproof the wood or weatherproof it and uh, all that good stuff. And you can get it in different textures. Like I got the semi-gloss because I, I don't know, I just don't care for my things, my guys to be super shiny. So I bought it in semi-gloss, but they have it in gloss, they have it in matte, or maybe mine's matte. I don't know, I have to, here we go, it's right here. What did we get? Okay, we bought satin finish. Okay, so we got satin. But uh, when I was picking that out, they also have it in gloss and semi-gloss, satin and matte finishes. So, I figured uh, we would give this stuff a try. My mom is the painter in the family. She loves to paint. She paints all kinds of stuff. Or she used to, anyway. She's a... Uh, kind of been in her own hiatus from it, I guess. Hiatus? Hiatus? Where you take a break from stuff? Yeah, well, that's what she's doing. That's what she's been doing. So. Hiatus. Hiatus. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, from painting. So, I had to take it over myself. And I am no painter, believe me usually get more paint on me than I do what I'm working on. So yeah, that's the color green he's going to be. And, uh, so anyway, back to her. She does all kinds of Mod Podge stuff. She used to take pictures and Mod pot, uh, take a piece of wood and stain it beat it up with a chain give that old effect and then uh she would stain the piece of wood and after the stain was dry she'd take a pitcher and modge podge it onto the piece of wood yeah we got a, quite a few family pictures that are 
Mod Podge from a long time ago, and they're still holding up good, so I guess that's that's testament to how good this stuff works right there. If you can mod pod something 30 years ago and it still looks good today, I guess that's a testament to how good the stuff is, right? That's my theory on it. So, if we have to mix up some more paint because we ran out. I knew there wasn't enough there. Basically, we're just taking the paint and I'm watering it down with a mixture of water and fantastic. About 70% water, 30% fantastic. By doing that, it allows uh, it thins the uh, paint out and allows for a much easier brush cleanup. Okay. All these little divots in here trying to get them to so we don't got no clear no uh brown spots sticking through brown spots poking through there okay you grab him by his eyeballs Okay, this wood has got some pretty wild grain to it. It's almost like tiger striped. Almost hate to cover it up with paint. Tell you this would have been really nice for that uh what Jordy was doing there with that burning thing uh Sung Bang Yog or something they could, I don't remember what it was called, but you remember where he burned the wood to really burn it and it make the grain of the wood pop out. Look at all that uh, you guys probably can't see it, but all that grain right there is freaking awesome. It's like tiger striped. Yeah, I can't I can't remember what they what he called it. Been some gaudy or something like that. Some Chinese or Japanese word. If you really want to know what it's called, just ask Jordy. He was doing it there for a while with some wood spirits and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, you guys got to see the high-speed tool in action today. What do you think about that? Okay. Uh, I think we got in between his eyes pretty good there. Oh, got a spot here on the tentacle. Needs a little attention. Right there. Okay. Yeah, we might as well... Just go ahead and we're gonna come back and paint the lips a different color so but I think what we're just gonna do is use this green like our base coat 
and then we can come back and paint over it with a different color. So you gotta keep looking all around because there's a spot I missed right in between the legs there. You think you got every little spot and then you come back and I know on basswood I've seen it drink so much paint in that uh, you swear you did you went over it two or three times and you think you got it all right and then the next day you come out and look at it and there's little white spots well I think that's because it's actually sucked that much paint into the grain of the wood because it's like you would think that it like it, it cracks see now I know I did down in there and there's a spot it just drinks that drinks it right in I think that's, that's got them pretty well covered. What do you guys think about that color green, huh? Now, uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and paint the scales on the back green. And they're not gonna be this color. They're gonna be a different color green. Maybe with some black or some yellow or something. Might as well push this in with this big brush. Just push it in there deep. Get up in them scales good. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. pushed into them scales there. Oops. And that spots on the back there. Back of the arm. Tip of the tentacle. Whatever you want to call it. down here Yeah, we're not all that concerned with getting full coverage down here because these are going to be different color too. It's like we need a little more. Not much more, but a little more. I think only a couple drops this time. Paint a couple drops of water. I'm gonna make this water pretty watery because we want to get up underneath them eyelids really good. Okay, something like that. Since we got a little extra paint now, we can go over back over our eye stalks here. This one here. Something like that. And then we're going to have to let them sit for a little bit and get dry. 
otherwise we'll be mixing our colors you don't let it dry whatever you touch that's green uh, your next color is going to get green in it that's the way it always seems to work out for me anyway guys if I'm painting one color, see, you get green on your fingers. You go to paint the other color, and if you happen to touch it by accident, guess what? Now it's green. Okay, so I think we're going to have to call this one good for right this minute. And I'm going to have to let them dry. So, let's see. What do we got? All right, 15 minutes. All right, so that's where we are right now, guys. We've got them painted green. And then we'll go on to the, we gotta let them dry. So we're gonna go ahead and call this one a video. And I'll show you the next stage when we come back to uh, what we're gonna, what colors we're gonna paint them next. Nope, we're not just going to leave them this one shade of green. Nope. I said we got to make a cool monster. So. Okay, guys. That's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. So, uh, share, subscribe, and like. All that good stuff. And... Be awesome, carve something awesome, carve every day if you can, practice, 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 that's what gets you ahead with carving, okay, so remember, just carve, did I say share, subscribe, and like, I don't know, but share, subscribe, and like, hit that bell so you get notifications of when the next video is uploaded, alright, and we'll talk to you guys later, bye.